friends, I'm back with a new lesson. Well, in today's lesson, we are going to take up three words. Idle, idle and ideal. Well, I'm sure you've heard these words, you've read them somewhere or, uh, you know, you've probably used them. But sometimes they are a little confusing because they sound similar, but they have totally different meanings. Okay, so let's take the first one, idle. Now, we say this as idle. Though the E comes in the end of the word, you say idle. Now, what does this mean? Idle means something that is not in use or someone who's doing nothing. You know, you're just doing nothing. So, you're idle. Okay, so the first sentence, are you an idle student? Now, students have summer holidays where they choose what to do, right? Sometimes they go on camps, they take up hobby classes or they just do nothing. So when you want to ask someone, are you doing nothing? You know, so you say, are you an idle student? That means, are you doing nothing now? You know, basically not doing anything. So you ask him, are you an idle student? Now. Do not use this I-D-O-L because this would be wrong. It's a completely different meaning. So when you want to say you're doing nothing or you want to ask if you're doing something or you want to say something is empty or not in use, you say idle. Okay. The next sentence, the office is idle. That means, here it means it is not in use, it is empty. Okay, friends, so remember when you want to say or when you want to ask if something is not in use or doing nothing, vacant or empty, you use I-D-L-E. The pronunciation is idle. Okay, now we'll take a look at idle. Now, what's I-D-O-L? Now, idle is a noun. Okay, basically it's an object that represents a deity. Now, sometimes it can also mean excessive admiration for someone. Okay. So, Angelina is my idol. Okay. Now, when I say she's my idol, that's I-D-O-L, I mean that I excessively admire her. So, supposing I want to go and eat that piece of cake, I just think of her and I see how, I mean, I just imagine how nice and slim she is. So I want to be as slim as her. Okay. So she is my idol. She is someone I look up to. I excessively admire her. So another way to say it, I mean, I'm sure you've heard it. We say, you know, like I idolize her. So we use the word idolize, which becomes a verb. That means you excessively admire her. But if I say she is my idol, so yes, she's the person I really look up to, I excessively admire. I'm sure all of you have your idols. Sometimes it could be your parents, you, you know, uh, they are your idols. You worship them literally. Yeah, so when you want to say you excessively admire, you worship someone, you look up to someone, you use the word idol. So a person or that person is your idol. Okay. In Asia, people worship idols. Now, here we are talking about an object that represents a deity. So you have various god, goddesses that people have small, you know, uh, they are um, structures that we worship. So we call them as idols. Okay. So this is the ideal. Okay. This is the object that represents a deity. So this is ideal, idol. And this is I-D-L-E, that's idle. So the pronunciation of both are same, but the meanings are completely different, okay? Now we're going to take a look at how to use I-D-E-A-L, that is ideal. 
Okay, so now we saw what idle and idle meant. Let's take a look at IDAL, that's ideal. Okay, so what is ideal? Something that is in its perfection or that is most suitable. So the swimming pool is ideal for a quick dip. Now just supposing you're really tired and sleepy and you have a half an hour lunch break. So near your office there's a swimming pool. Just imagine if you could just dive in quickly five minutes and come out. How invigorating you would feel. Okay. So it is ideal. That means it is the best option, the perfect thing to do for a quick dip. All right. So do not use the word idle over here or this idle because they would not make sense okay the most suited or the best you say ideal so it's ideal ideal in the next example this is the ideal time to invest in stock market now supposing stock prices are low it's the right time the best or the perfect time to invest okay so use the word ideal. Now sometimes when you talk to your friends and uh, they have some problems and you're out there helping them to solve their problems and when you want to suggest something you tell them I think this is the ideal thing to do. So when you say that you, you are suggesting the best or the perfect thing to do and you always say this is the ideal thing to do or the correct thing to do all right. So friends, this brings me to the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm sure your confusion is all clear now. Go ahead, use these words. All right, do put in your comments. I'll be back soon with a new lesson. Till then, take care and bye.